Dabo, you feeling good over there? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's Sunny Night in the Lakers, joined by some special guests, Jabbo Starks on the drums, and Fred Wesley, the JB's uh, band leader and the trombonist. Sonny, thanks for bringing these fellas up here, and thanks for doing that great rendition of It's a Man's 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 World. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah. So Jabbo and Fred, is this something you've done, you know, over the course of the last uh, few years, you know, playing uh, these old James Brown songs? Uh. So far as me, no, yeah. I haven't played those songs. Well, unless I've played with Fred. And when I play with Fred, we do just a couple of tunes, but not so many as we're doing here. You know, it's the first time I played this many in really? oodles of years, you know. I could tell you had some fun doing that. You had a major smile on your face when you were uh, playing the drums in that track. Well, that track and you're playing with guys that, that you're playing with, but I just have fun playing music, period. Mm-hmm. That's the, yeah. How about you, Fred? You still have fun playing music? Sure. It's, it's amazing how uh, the music that we made in the 70s and the 60s is still alive today. You know, these these guys, uh, the Lakers, they really uh, understand the music and uh, they relish it music. They do it real good. And so uh, I'm, I'm just happy to play with them, you know? Mm-hmm. So when you were recording some of the James Brown classics, did you know and you say to yourself, this is it. This is, this is a monster song. This is an amazing song. And this is going to be part of the fabric of, of American music for years to come. I didn't know that. I knew it was, it was good at the time, you know, but I didn't realize that uh, it would last for 50, 60 years, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it did because uh, 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 we still do it today. Uh, Sonny and the Lakers, they, they, they bring it back to my mind, you know, because uh, this is music that uh, I had basically forgotten, you know. Yeah. But uh, um, I've been doing other things, playing jazz and uh, other kind of music. But uh, this is a... A real revelation to know that the music is still alive. So was was playing with James Brown and being in the JBs, was that uh, the highlight of both of your musical careers? Uh, Jabbo? <laughs> well, uh, there was a change, you know, mm-hmm. uh, when he changed over. And uh, like I say, with the JBs, there was a change in the music and in, in the idea of playing. And then just as Fred was saying a few minutes ago, you know, this is amazing, man, 47 years ago, and you're playing with guys that seem like they know the stuff, all what you're doing already, you know, and bringing it back, and that's 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 beautiful. But with James, it was, I don't know, with Fred, it was just just fun doing it, and you never thought anything would come out of it, really. Mm-hmm. Was, was, was there an audition process to get into James Brown's band? How did, how did that happen for both of you? Uh, well, I, I would recommend it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, by a trumpet player, Wayman Reed, that uh, mm-hmm. was in James Brown Band, and uh, uh, he uh, re- recommended me to the band, and uh, I stood on the sidelines watching the show and learning the show, and uh, eventually I made the band. Yeah. Jabo? No, well, <clears throat> before that, I was with Bobby Blue Bland. And, Playing uh, the blues. Oh, yeah, every yeah. day. Hey, that was it, yeah. But, and he would, there were certain places that we played, and Jane would, had heard me play with, you know, with group with Bobby's group, and he would send guys to ask me if I would join his group, you know. So, eventually, I said yes, and I met him in New York, and there was five drummers on stage, and I didn't know, you know <laughs> hey man, what, what, where am I supposed to fit on this? And that was it. I stood on the stage like Fred st- stood on the side and watched, and eventually it happened. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness, sunny night. You guys brought the funk there. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah? It sounded like you were having some fun. <laughs> always, always. I mean, look at who I'm playing with, all these guys, you know? Yeah, so when you were growing up, Sonny, was James Brown it for you? I mean, was this the music that you kind of grew up with and oh, you, you really dug? Yeah, yeah, that brought the funk. I mean, that brought everything, you know? Mm-hmm. The style of what you're wearing out there, <laughs> you know, in the streets, uh, plus the funk of the music. Mm-hmm. So what does this music mean to you? 
music, this music means everything to me. It's, it's like where it's all at, you know. It's the funk, mm-hmm. it's the blues, it's a little bit of uh, the gospel, it's a little bit of everything that all comes together. Mm-hmm. And uh, these guys lay down the funk so well, and it just makes it right. Yeah. So I got I to gotta ask you guys, what is funk? Jabbo, can you define that, what <laughs> funk is? <laughs> I, no, you may need to ask Fred that because I to How about me you, Fred? to me I don't know uh, I, I I can't explain it but you know it when you hear it <laughs> you, 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 yeah you just know funk when you hear it you know you yeah. can st- you can sit down and start patting your feet and shaking your butt and getting into it making all your little funny looking moves then you that's funk fair enough <laughs> what can you tell us about James Brown that we might not know Fred um. I don't know. Um, I can't tell you that, but uh, yeah, um, no, Fred, that you don't. might not know. Yeah, um, you know he was a very uh, benevolent person. He mm-hmm. uh, he did some things for me that uh, I would always remember. Uh, for instance, uh, he he gave me some publishing that, that I, uh, I I I refused at first. I he told me that uh, I'll give you the publishing on this song, or I'll pay you one hundred and twenty-five dollars, something like that, you know. Yeah. And uh, uh, I I told him I take the hundred twenty-five dollars, which I was very young and green. Sure. I didn't understand what publishing was. He said I'm gonna give you both. He said uh, the money uh, I give you now will take care of you for a day. The publishing I give you will take care of, take care of you for the rest of your life and your family, and it's been true. He was very, very good person about doing things like that, you know. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that, but James Brown was a very benevolent person. That's nice to hear. How about you, yeah. Jabo? Yeah, I go along with Fred. You know, uh, even after uh, everybody had left and I was still there with him. Uh, that was when Bootsy and that group came in. Mm-hmm. You that, know. that played out in the movie. Yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. then again, like Fred was saying, I never thought it would happen. But he told me, he said, okay, we recorded different tunes. Okay, Jabbo, I'm giving you a piece of this one. I'm giving you a piece of this one. And, you know, I, I laughed at it saying, well, okay, yeah, <laughs> I'll take that and thank you very much. But even to the day, as Fred was saying, <laughs> the check still comes. Really? Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. And he was... He, he, he was a businessman to point to that point, man. You know, you, you, you just give him what is due, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So did you guys see the, the film Get On Up? Oh, yeah. Yeah? What did you think of it? Did you enjoy watching it? Was it difficult? <laughs> no. Yeah. It just brought back, It brought, to me, it brought back memories. And I still say there were some things, that could, you know, some, some things that could have possibly been added. But I watched it. Yeah, it was okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a movie about... James' relationship with Bobby Bird, and uh, yeah, I understood yeah. that, you know. So, I I, I wasn't uh, uh, taken aback by me not being in it, and a lot of p- other people not being in it. It was about Bobby Bird. Yeah, yeah. What about Mr. Dynamite? I thought that was fantastic. It really showed kind of the man in action. Oh yeah, that that, that, was, that was a good movie, a good documentary. That's mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, now I got to ask you. James Brown was notorious for finding people in in the <laughs> band. Were either one of you or both of you ever fined along the way, and what well, we, what for? I, I, I never did nothing wrong, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I'll say this, and this is this is true. Mm-hmm. When I joined the band, I knew he was finding guys in the band. When I joined the band, like as we, I'm talking to you, I was in his office or in the dress room talking to him. I said, "I'll tell you one thing, I don't pay fines." And he looked at me like, well, now, wait a minute. <laughs> what do you mean you don't pay for it? I said, I just don't do it. I said, because if you take money from me, you're not taking it from me. You're taking it from a family. Yeah. And I don't play that. So you tell me, I'll work for you. Tell me what you want me to do, how you want me to do it, and I'll do that. I, I never paid a fine. <laughs> <laughs> how about you? I never did anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> did, didn't you ever have blood on your shirt? And okay, okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know. they told you about that, but he still didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I had, I had played uh, five shows at the Apollo, and uh, my, my my lip was bleeding, you know, yeah. and so I got a little blood on my shirt. And they said, son, What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I said, I got a little blood on my shirt. He said, well, You know, you got to fit it out of five, but I didn't, I didn't pay it, you know, he just. <laughs> 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 and that, that was nothing wrong. No, 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 not at all. Five gigs in a day, you know, that's, that's going to happen. Ooh, yeah. Know, that's when you, that's when, when, that's the only time, excuse me, that I began to hate theaters. Yeah. I used to love to play them, 
But after I got with Jane, man, hey, you go on stage, finish that first show, come off, put off the uniform, put on another one, you're coming back again. Wow. Five times, man. That was <laughs> okay. You got through it okay, though? I'm still here, you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Sunny Night in the Lakers. It's Jabbo Starks on the drums. It's Fred Wesley on the trombone. It's been such a pleasure to have you guys here. Yeah.